To open up the equipment list, click on Equipment on the left-hand side menu. Here you'll see a list of all of the assets or pieces of equipment in your system. On the right-hand side, you'll see a Details button. It looks like a piece of paper. You can click on this on any row if you want to look at more information about that specific unit. So for example, we can view some maintenance costs here. If I click on details on the left, I can view a lot more information about this specific uh, vehicle, this piece of equipment. If I want to do something with the equipment, let's say I make a work order, record maintenance, look at the history, um, there's an actions button on the right hand side with the three dots. So if I click on the actions button, it'll give you some extra options on what you want to do with the equipment. If I want to make a change to a piece of equipment, I can double click on the row and that'll bring me to the edit screen. And here I can change properties if I want to change the unit number, year make model, any of these text boxes. On the right hand side there are also more sections of information that you can utilize to record data about the specific equipment. We provide a number of custom fields as well, so if you have data that doesn't necessarily fit in one of our existing boxes, uh, you can use the custom fields for this purpose. Um, you can actually click on the label and name it whatever you would like. To add new equipment to your list, on the right hand side where we clicked on equipment to get to the list, there's a plus sign, so you can click on that to add. You also have a new button on the top right. So you can click on this. You can also make a duplicate of an existing. If you hit the little down arrow, you'll have a new du duplicate. Whatever row that you're on, if you click on this, it'll retain a lot of the information. So if the equipment that you're adding is very similar to something else, you can use the duplicate button. Otherwise, you can just hit the plus sign and it'll start you with a blank slate and you can start filling things in. We provide a search box on the top left, so if you wanted to search for a specific type of equipment, we make it very easy to find. We also have filters on the top right for locations, as you can organize equipment into locations, and then we have some additional filters here as well. As far as locations go, you can use the drop-down box. We also have this button on the left of the equipment heading that'll show a more expanded view of locations. Um, each piece of equipment can go into a location and then inside of each location you can have different categories. So you can consider these kind of like folders where you would want to organize where your equipment is to make it easier to find. The equipment list has a number of columns so you can view data. If you wish to, to show or hide some columns you can, you can modify this. Um, to do so, you would click the gear on the top right and click the first option that says Customize Columns. You'll be presented with a list of all columns that are available to view. Um, checking or unchecking a column will either show or hide. So, for example, if you wanted to show a uh, year, make, and model, we can check these and now they appear on our equipment list. Thanks for watching. You can find more video tutorials on our YouTube channel or for more information about our software products, you can visit our website at mtcpro.com.